Let's pray. Almighty God, grant that we who have celebrated the Lord is resurrection. May be your grace confessed in our life and conversation that Jesus is Lord and God. Through the same Jesus Christ, you are Son who live and reign with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Uh, let's we see it. Nyone. And one, one, two, one, twelve. Canada did. Porkel with a Janangaro. Porkel with Jaskel with a row. Porkel with Jaskel with a row. Our first reading 
from Acts chapter 5, verse 12 to 32. Quenanem, Manelian Kaladjani, Kyoga D. Kabat in Waraudian, a bow talk. Kabat Yanang Dodero. Nune, Kaladagai canals. Tell me, to a nune, can I look? The guy canals to one lot. Say, Naz. Young, to take and deal kale. Yaja Catalomon, Yaja Catalomon. Tell him kale. Cadros not to kin. Mishuja on and go but a marke. If you now take a loose me deed, cake. Catch you a nay to one marke. Wooney can a man. Tiyo kwa no kot ngas kaka kui kana me chu nas ijwami kap domni katoi kake dangni kane brini kwa dong de tie Peter pen katanga mrede kijenwa among. The two native one when we need to take Jerusalem, New Gaji, Johnny, can a nay, the shark up a cooty jack, the two can deal, yak ago. The two boats fall indeed a kainal, can a nay deal, in take a jackal, the laggy, sad you see. Tian, a tail. Chuk a yag ye chu cup, which you are Kalas, Dog Yena. Cook a word, two young nail, ten lock yena, leap. Chuk a nungra, we are stronger a lock. Kaladanaz, Rani, quit taker. Mamma. May she jack, mamma, ling, shook a word a lockwood. Ba, bucket, kachuk a nas, nay. Come in, she boos parlor, indeed. Ben, canatin, take a jicker, shook a jick lock, can a dit, Israel deal, shall was kel. Kachu a nas, jacker, loa, yena, go ba, jack, or noon. Make ye yen, talk loak, ben, can can kajak, loak yena, kachu a kaloi, yok, chuga ya wallat, eh, chuga loak yena, yak, gaka, kati yen, chunga, sungni, siangni, kame chako, kalep, tell a michi, chako yak, tin. Tell me, make you quarry yena, can a bull fall, read it to ling, you was kin. Ye along. Shook a guy, come on. Larodomo. Take a read quas? Langna quas. A banner quenna did and banner jack. A news. A news. Shook a kel. Cabal one over well but duck. A revelation. Chapter 1, verse 4 to 18. Bana yelling, when are we there? Nir, Bilokos, Dan Borrow. John, Gormame, Bilokos, Dan Borrow, to take Asia. A Polkan Amal, take a year. Menbe, Karamin, to sin, to Chikong to sin, Kabibin. Minva ke ye dang borrow ke niam kam kuarade kaba ke ye chukar so la nen in ngaske yen ke nen tichiliu ke kuar kuari we mon ke yen nogo kon ke kon lun 
le dwe ri kon riem de e chu kon ya ga khor boni pala laske kot ika kana kana war ka goi kana bom te ka ye chu amani chankel no no nane gen beni ka poar ka bu wong dial enen man neite cha ji yas ka bi dorwe mon dial wie ka je ka be te no 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 ga na min jol ka ra min ja pa ne ra ne ko ne ko min te sin ka chi kong te sin ka bi ben mi len bom ti dial and the morun ni jon min yu agrik ka ye kel wan ya mane rot ti bai bai le ye chu kraso gan cha las we do la min cha le pen mas the quick right kot kan yu ye chu han ta re ye ka ka chan kwar ne kot ka chua yau mi di ku chet ka yau ka ngal ling yau da we ri Gormin kinen tay war gaka ka jang ni je ka dwel ko dang boro ka feses ka samaria ka ne perga ka saitiria sardis ka ne pampilia mani daidosia ka chu arada rit ka paramin rai joda nen ka me sha lie to a chung ni lembeni dang baro ti cha lat ka dam nen ka teramo min chet ke garan dar chung ni lembe ni mi ta ke bi mi bo ka bar ka lak dab mi cha riez tok loai de ka boy wi de pak cha ne ke ken ka chang wo ke ka chet wong ke ka bol ma ka chet chu ke ka chek ni yan mi cha tos bo le chen ke mai tat ye za ka chet yaw de ka wo fi ni ti ngwan ka nyan rome kwel dang boro ka chet chu de ka ba tep mi mos fi ni ke dang re ora to de po nyam de chet ke chang mi chilap tel nyam me che je nen me che je nen Kuara yuar pin chet kemi chet kemi chen liu ka dung de ge chue tet chue de las wi de we yi chu duan ga ra min jul ka ga ra min jap ka gan na min tik han chen liu ka nen nen han te ga man chia ken han ta ke lem ni lies ka dul jong ni ka ta me gor min chen nen min te sin amani min bi ben kor ka me me ti ti career kos liang na kot eh ko ni jak dien bana ling eh roi ni kos ya gor eh john tu ay ko ya gor jon xu janare u ka ba wal bangwan bo to ka jan jo ko de kel ka ban re jai nian we rise for the gospel and we stay stand until the reading is done and will be read in english because the preaching will be preached in english uh and newer as well bana te xunga ka kwende ka bana di la kona ket la rit ya pani je lord kwaran bana elat ya pani je lord kwaran hallelujah ya pani je lord kwaran hallelujah then we reserve the last bus until english read will be read okay bana te xunga bana read ni ja bana wala cha kwen ka reu ya ta ni nyu ye chu karori ja ke ka ke tiang amo ke jen chang in jol ka jok ka te tiang ni duel inta jak sin ga ka 
From John, the 20th chapter, beginning with the 19th verse. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the door is being locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them. And he said to them, peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I am sending you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you for withhold forgiveness from any, it is withheld. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, we've seen the Lord. But he said to them, unless I see in his hands the mark of the nails, and put my fingers into the mark of the nails and place my hand in, into his side, I will never believe. Eight days later, his disciples were inside again and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, put your finger here and see my hands and put your hand and put it in my side. Do not disbelieve, but believe. And Thomas answered him, my Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Christ. 
Song. Okay. Let me sing a song and then preach it. Is this one you want? Yeah, that's one. That's one. Uh, uh, this one okay. it is 82. Uh, this, uh, song 82. Oh, 
I'll show you. All, 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 all. Come on. I want to teach you. I can't teach you if you're there and I'm talking here. Come on. Okay, sit down. Good. You are you are you are video camera is on. I see Yeah, this one is on. I'm gonna turn the other one on. I can like that come back No. <laughs> this thing just doesn't want to. I want that one. I want that on. There. Now, you guys need to scoot together a little better. You got to scoot together. All right. Now. Can you, move? you heard the epistle lesson yeah. in Newer. Yeah. How many of you understood yeah. what? Yeah. Pastor Paul said yep. when he wrote, wrote, read to you in, in Revelation. Yep. How many of you understood that? Put your hand up if you understood the, the newer. We didn't do it in English yet. I'm going to do it for you in English because you guys are in between. All right? So let's just do that now. We're going to do we're going to do the statement concerning Revelation. All right, now let me give you a little history of where John is because now he's on Patmos, all right, an island in the Mediterranean, and it's off of Greece, and it's a place where there are mines and they mine for copper. He's a slave, basically, he's a prisoner, he has been banished to the copper mines because he was making a testimony of the word of God. In fact, is they had him in the arena. They put him in the arena, the animals wouldn't bother him. He was, he was about 80 years old when this happened. He's about my age. And the animals didn't want anything to do with him. The lions, they didn't hit him. So the the crowd was really surprised by all this, and they were starting to cheer for him. And then the emperor decided, well, we'll put him in a, and boil him in oil. So they put sort of fire underneath the big pot, and the pot had oil in it, and you know what they did? God sent a storm right over the top and put the fire out. Well, the people are really starting to, to wonder about this because that was what was happening. And so he said, the people were starting to cheer for him. They were getting on his side. And the Roman emperor didn't want that. This was Hadrian. So he sent him to the copper mines and banished him. And he was in the copper mines until Hadrian died got too old to be Caesar anymore. And uh, then the Senate of Rome released him. But while he was on Patmos, at kind of like close to the end, this is what happened in the story. Okay. He said, well, now wait a second. This isn't the way. Okay. John to the seven churches. So he's writing, he's writing a letter to seven churches. That are in Asia. They were in Asia Minor. Grace, mercy, and peace to you. They're pretty much in Turkey today for your geography. All right. Grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come. Who is that? That's God. He's coming. Okay. And from the seven spirits. Come on. Well, you could go on over that side. The seven spirits that are before his throne. Okay, the seven spirits before God's throne. That's the Holy Spirit. 
God's number is seven, and that's what it signifies, God's Spirit, Holy Spirit. So we have God the Father, and we have the Holy Spirit, and then he says, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness. How was Jesus faithful? He told them that he was the Messiah. And you know that they crucified him because he told them he was the Messiah. They wouldn't accept him. Okay. So, this is what it says. To him who loves us and freed us from our sins. So, we don't get punished for our sins. Jesus took the punishment for us. Uh, from our sins by his blood. That's the way he was crucified. And made us a kingdom of priests to God. Do you know what a priest does? Because you're all priests. Or you might see a female way of saying that you're a priestess. All right? But you're all priests. You're a kingdom of priests. Do you know what that <coughs> is? Those are people who serve God. They worship God. They serve him. They do the things he wants him to do. Uh, him who loves us and freed us from our sins with his blood made us a kingdom of priests for his God and Father to him be glory and dominion forever and ever amen he's the boss right he's God there's nothing he can't do he's the one that gives you life and he's the one that takes it and it comes back to him in report behold he is coming with the clouds and every eye will see him. Who are we talking about? God. Jesus. Okay? It's when he comes back. And even those who pierced him, those are the ones that nailed him to the cross. Okay? And all the tribes of the earth will wail, they'll cry, for fear or joy, they're going to cry on account of him. And then John says, even so, Amen. Let it happen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. So we have a testimony of who God is, who Jesus is. Remember, Jesus is God. When we make the sign in the cross and, and do an invocation, we say in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, making the sign of the cross to remind us that Jesus loves us, but to realize that it's a whole trinity that's working for our salvation. Okay? It says, I'm the Alpha and the Omega. That means he's the beginning and the end. He is it. He's the one that we all serve. He's the one that we want to please. He's the one that blesses us. Okay? He's also the one who gives us eternal life because of what Jesus did. I, John, your brother, and partner in the tribulation. Tribulation is where there is a lot of bad things happening. You can certainly say that over in Ukraine right now there's a tribulation. Okay? The kingdom and patient endurance. That means that he patiently waits and does what God wants him to do. I, John, your partner in, in the tribulation, the kingdom, and patient endurance that are in Jesus was on the island called Patmos on account of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. I told you about that. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. In other words, he was praying. Okay, on the Lord's day. When's the Lord's day? Anybody know when the Lord's day is? The Lord's day is Sunday. It's the day he rose again from the dead. Okay, that's why we celebrate it. Why we celebrate on Sunday and not on Saturday. Saturday was the Father's rest day. Sunday is the new creation and the new covenant. So that's why we do that. All right? All right. Don't spend too much time trying to follow him. Just listen. He can listen as much as he can, and it'll be okay. All right? All right. So I was on the Spirit, and I heard... Behind me, a loud voice like a trumpet. How many of you know what a trumpet sounds like? Yeah, and boy, are they loud, right? Okay, well, 
And he said, write what you see in a book. Now, people try to translate this differently, but this is when, this is the time that books were made. This is the very beginning of when they started making what they called codexes. They are a book, not a scroll. All right? So it says they made a book. And send it to the seven churches, to Ephesus and Smyrna and Pergamon and to Tyrotir and to Sardis and Philadelphia and to Laodicea. Then I turned to see the voice that was speaking to me. Remember, it's behind me. And on turning, I saw seven golden lampstands. Now, lampstand was probably about this tall. Kind of think of the Christ candle there as a lampstand. All right. I saw seven golden lampstands. In the midst of the lampstands, one like the Son of Man. Now, John, remember, he was one of the ones who were on the Mount of Transfiguration. And Jesus all referred to himself as the Son of Man. So, John is, is saying, it's just like one I was on the Mount of Transfiguration. This Son of Man, and now listen to this, how he was clothed with long robes with a golden slash around his chest. The hairs of his head were white. Hmm. Okay. Like white wool, like snow. And his iris were like a flame of fire. And it was a really red orange. Okay. His feet were like brownish, burnished bronze. So he was kind of golden color in his skin. That's the way he is now. Okay. And he like refined in a furnace. That's a bronze. And his voice was like the roll, roar of many waters. Do you guys have any idea what many waters sounds like? If you go to where there are waterfalls, okay, and if it's in, there's a stream and then a waterfall, and you go into the woods there, you hear that in the water running through the rapids. That's if you go to some really big ones, then you get an idea of what we're saying here. Because the voice was like the roar of me. It wasn't quiet at all. You could hear it. The fact is, you could hear it like it was right on top of you. And I passed, you can't talk that loud. Okay? His right hand held seven stars. And his mouth came a sharp two-edged sword. Now, we're talking in metaphors. One thing stands for another in a metaphor, okay? So, when I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. Fainted right in front of him because he was so powerful. If God, would, if God in the person of Jesus Christ would come right in front of us today, you know what? Where will you all be? On the floor. Because he's so powerful. Yeah. And then what did he do? But he laid his right hand on me saying, fear not. Okay. And I am the first and the last. Well, how's he first and last? Well, he's God. And he was the first to die and come back to life. Okay. He said, and the living one. We know he died on the cross. They stuck a spear in his side. It went up to his heart. Water and, and blood flowed out. We know that Jesus died. No question about it. They wanted to make sure. I died and behold, I am alive. That means he rose, he rose again from the dead. Just like the resurrection and everybody witnessed this said. And then he says from there, Behold, I am alive forevermore. It means he'll never die again. Period. And I have the keys of death and Hades. So he has overcome death and the devil. Hell itself. He has the keys. He controls it. Right? Therefore, the things that you have seen, and those that are and those that are to take place after this, it was the vision, the book of Revelation. As for the mystery of the seven stars, remember the stars in his hand? The seven stars are 
the seven angels of the seven churches. Angels can be messengers, could be the pastors, but it truly could be also angels themselves. We don't know for certain. And the seven lampstands are the seven churches. Now, Jesus will, re will refer to these later, and he says, if you don't, if you don't do what I command you, I'll take away your lampstand. I'll take away your church. That means then you no longer will be able to be and worship God and know about it. <coughs> and that's what we're going to talk about today is the church being taken away. All right? All right. So, everybody, hold your hands. We're going to say a little prayer. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. For Jesus, For Jesus you're your son, you're your son. Our, Lord and Savior. our Lord and Savior. We ask you, Lord Jesus, today. We ask you, Lord Jesus, today. Be with us. Be with us. And help us. And help us. In our worship. In our worship. And in understanding. In understanding. The sermon. Lord, may our hearts return to you. And may we do your will. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, you can go back to your seats now. All right, grace, mercy, and peace to you from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All right, the sermon today for you to understand is a question that I have. Let me put some context around my question. My question is, well, first of all, I was watching TV and it was on Easter. And it was Walter's world. And he was asking people in Times Square what the holiday was. And about half of them, that means five in 10, right? Five didn't know. The other five, they, they said, well, it's Easter, okay? And then he asked the question, well, if it was Easter, what does that mean? They didn't know. They'd either never been taught or they hadn't paid attention and they had listened to the things of this world and they did not know what Easter was about. And it's the most important day in all of human history. Why is it the most important day? Because Easter is the day in which Jesus Christ rose again from the dead. And over time, it's been almost 2,000 years. But Jesus rose again from the dead. He showed himself to his disciples. You heard it in the, the sermon or the, the gospel lesson today. That he showed himself but in showing himself, the only thing that happened is that today people don't know or they've forgotten. Or they simply don't believe. And so my question is, and the question we have to be able to answer, is why don't they believe? Is it because nobody taught them? And they never heard? Or is it because the way the world is such that they would rather do what they want to do than what God wants for you? For if you do what God wants for you, your life will be much better than if you do whatever you want to do. Okay? Now you have to understand who God is. God is holy, he's perfect, and he expects you to be perfect. No sin. Now, 
God to stay without sin, he has to treat us. Well, what happens is his wrath breaks out against us. His wrath keeps him holy. If he would just accept us being sinful and say, okay, just try to do better, then he would be condoning sin. It would be like a parent raising a child but never teaching a child anything. Okay? Well, that would make them complicit in what their children do. And then when they end up doing things that are really bad in society, they're part of it. They're the reason why their children turn bad because they didn't listen. They didn't discipline and train them. So what we have is we have a God who is holy and he's not going to participate in our sin. So he had to find a way to save us without making himself contaminated. I want you to think of God kind of like matter and antimatter. When you bring antimatter and matter together, you have a great explosion and everything is destroyed. That's the way it would be with sin with God because it changed him totally. So his wrath protects him from sin. Yet he loves you and me. And so he has to figure out how to reestablish our friendship. Because you can't love somebody that all they're going to do is hurt you, punish you, demand things of you, and you can't do it. You're a sinful being. You are like a person with a disease. It's called sin. And you're stuck with it. So what did he do? He sent Jesus to die for us. Now you have to understand, Jesus loves his father, and so he did this. He loves you, so he did this. He is God, so he is participating in our salvation. He's doing all that's necessary. But God is too, because God the Father loves us, and he wants his creation reestablished. So he sends his son, and the only way it can be done is for Jesus to become a human being, a real human being. That's why he had become a baby before he could become an adult. And he had to redeem us. And so he taught, he healed, he saved everybody around him. He continued to serve them. But when he did that, well, that cost him his life. They put him on on the cross because they didn't want to give their power up. That is the other religious group that were leaders. Not very good religion, but that's what they had. That was the Sanhedrin and the high priest. They didn't want to accept Jesus as the Messiah. And Jesus says, I'm the Messiah and I'm God. And if you read through the, the early uh, the Gospels, you see Jesus trying to tell them that Yet not telling it just bluntly, I'm God, because then they'll say that's blasphemy and they'll kill him. But he's trying to break through their orthodoxy. And he tried to break through all the way to the end. He had to knock all the orthodoxy out from underneath his disciples' feet. They had to completely lean on him. Once they leaned on him, well, you read that last part of John uh, after the Passover and before going to the Garden of Gethsemane and the prayers and the intercession, and you see Jesus working, trying to teach his disciples, and he's trying to keep them all the way to the end. And when he dies on the cross, well, they see the human being, Jesus, but they have such hard hearts that they have a hard time realizing that Jesus is God. Jesus had a hard time too. He was on the cross and 
One thing that he did not expect is that the father left him. He could not be with them because Jesus was carrying the sins of the world. That's why at the end of the, the time that he, of darkness that was on the earth at the time of his cre uh, crucifixion, he says, my God, Father, why did you forsake me? He didn't know, he didn't. That didn't really sink in. He didn't feel that. That was hell for him. For God had abandoned him, and that's really what hell will be like for all those who don't trust in Jesus as their Savior. When they go to hell, they're not going to have a party, I can tell you that. They're going to be all isolated by themselves. And they'll have been in front of God, and they'll have seen his beauty and his love. They would have felt all the wonderfulness of being in his presence and his forgiveness. Thank you. They vanished because... They did not believe in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. That's where we don't want people to be. That's why we need to tell them about Jesus being their Savior. Well, we need to believe too before we can get others to believe. We need to know about Jesus. We need a relationship with him. And the only way that happens is by you hearing God's word, you reading God's word, and you learning to trust him. Now, Jesus tells you all kinds of things to do in the Bible. When you watch his life, he does exactly what he says. There is no difference between what he says and what he does. Now, that is a perfect human being. And he lived his life here on this earth without sin. He prayed for and he loved his enemies as much as he loved his friends. They died on the cross while we were still sinners so that he could save us and that we would start to understand and start to love him. And if we start to love him, and then we see God as someone who cares about us instead of somebody who just wants to punish us and somebody who saved us by sending his son. And love wells up in our heart, and Christ gives us his Holy Spirit. Okay? And it said in, in the scripture reading that he breathed on them and they received the Holy Spirit. Well, what does the Holy Spirit do for us? Well, he calls us together. He makes us knowledgeable about sin, about grace, that's free unmerited love, God's love for us. And he helps us in such a way that we believe because he's working in us. And then he sanctifies us. And that's a cleansing of us from the sin that is within us that continues to try to control our lives. So that's what Jesus came for. But if you don't trust Jesus, if you don't believe in him, you're lost. If you believe on him, then you do the things that he has commanded us to do. So in every case, we have to be in his word. We have to understand what he wants. We have to know how much he loves us. And that's why we come to church and worship him and be forgiven our sins. And how we learn about him. But you know what? The world knew about him. In fact, when I was over in Israel about five years ago, I can tell you that they all knew about God. And they all worshipped, supposedly, God, except that they worshipped the wrong God. The Muslims were worshipping Allah. Wrong concept of God. The, the Christians, they were worshiping God through Jesus Christ. And the Jews were worshiping God, but they didn't really accept Jesus as their Savior. They still don't. Their hardness of heart and mind has kept them in the situation they are today. But the Christians have been working to spread the gospel, and they know, and everybody there knows who Jesus is and what he supposedly did. 
But if you go to New York City, better than half didn't even know what Easter was. And that really, that really bothered me because that means that they haven't gotten the message that if they don't even know what it is, there's no chance for them. Well, how's your chance? What is it like for you? For we need to believe in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And that doesn't happen if people are not teaching us. That doesn't happen if we don't want to learn. If we want to say, I'll do it my way. Well, your way, if you do it your own way, means you go to hell. That's what it actually means. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So he's exclusive. He's the only Savior. He says, I'm the first and I'm the last. Yeah. And he's the living one. And he's the one that gives us life and eternal life. If you go to the end of the of Mark, it says, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be condemned. Those are only two. There's nothing in between. And so we, the church, can only tell you. You as Christians need to be telling others what you need to be telling them about what your faith is. Who you trust. But if you don't believe yourself, if this is just a family thing that you do, then that's not going to work either. Because they're not going to believe you if they don't see Christ living in you. And so that's our task as a royal priesthood, the holy nation, the peculiar people. Not being weird, but being special. And so that's our job. That's as parents, as children, we all have that job to teach others about Jesus and who he is so that they can go to heaven too. Amen. เอ่อนี่ก็ฟังจากอะไรก็ที่ทางคอมมิชชั่นเนี่ยใครอ่ะแล้วนี่มันมานานเอ่อใช้ไปยังมั้งหรือยังเอ่อที่เนี่ยค
ตะเมอ่าบัตรปันชิงบานปัลกะปัลเดลปอสกะบานปัลันบานไอ้โจโกบอสกะกอเรยอตะปันชิงอ่ามุยกอนละคอนกาซึกยูสกอนุกุนึ
The last song will be uh, one one nine. Work to just say for the one. We can get in just one 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 nine. Terkur muga, terkur muga. God, we're done for the today, and God be with you, go and serve the Lord. We are Kamal Kalana Kwaraka. We are Kamal Kalana Kwaraka. Uh, next week will be the first of May, right? Yep. This coming Sunday is May 1st. We almost, uh, I think, kit our office because the school is almost done. We have one week and one month to be done and come to the summer activity. Um, we see we miss three women who always come. They are in Medicare to Minnesota because a memorial service for our late brother, Stephen Chan, the chairman of Nuer Yours in North America who passed away last year. That's the reason why they are there. And 
Don't be a bunny yo me, ye dang yo key, well, Minnesota. Honey, man, I can never name your be. Go home and serve the Lord. And remember, <laughs> or oh, don't run. Ozaro, don't go out until Mandong come out. Okay? Leave Mandong, be our arcane. Don't go and run out. Okay? Uh, 